All right, everyone, welcome back to Bee Mother Reviews. Today we've got this massive release from XM Studios. This is, of course, Starscream from their Transformers line. This statue has been a long time coming, well over three years in development. Was it worth the wait? And most importantly, how does it compare to one of the best statue releases from 2019 in Optimus Prime? Let's find out the review next. <music> Alright, so Transformers has been an incredibly popular franchise for decades now. Uh, and I know for at least for me, first thing that comes to mind when I think of Transformers is Optimus Prime and Megatron. But I think for a lot of the hardcore Transformers fans, number three in that Transformers trinity is this guy right here. Starscream. He's been there since the beginning and even though over the years in the different Transformers series his look has changed you know because they gotta sell those toys right um, a couple things have always remained the same he's always sort of been Megatron's right hand man uh, but that's not out of any sense of loyalty his other defining trait is that he hates Megatron's guts and he would like nothing more than to kill Megatron and take over control of the Decepticons for himself. Um, so he's always kind of plotting and scheming in the background, always has these elaborate schemes to take over control, um, but most often those plans don't work out and he's left begging for forgiveness on his knees at the feet of Megatron and it wouldn't be much of a fun show if he wasn't welcomed back into the fold each time. So he's got sort of that lovable loser type of um, aspect to his character. Uh, but this statue here, is it more lovable or is it more loser? Well, we're going to find out. We're going to talk sculpt and design next. All right, so this statue here was sculpted by a man named Frederick Daou, who hails from the digital artist hotbed of Montreal, Canada. And as a fellow Canadian, I think it's pretty amazing to see how many truly talented artists are based in and around that area. It's really cool to see. Um, and Frederick has done a really nice job on this piece. Let's start by looking at the base here. Um, Sticking with that Cybertron theme that you saw in Optimus Prime, you can see this sort of space rock landscape underneath everything with all this sort of high-tech looking gear laid over top. And you got this signature honeycomb pattern here on the front. And I don't know what it is about that pattern that looks so high-tech, but it just works. And he's got his foot on top of this big pincer type of hand. Looks like one of those pincers from uh, an arcade machine where you try to grab the stuffed animals out of the pile. Uh, it's a really cool base and most importantly it fits in with the theme of the other Transformers. So they're all going to look great together. Starscream himself. I mean there's almost too many details here to even talk about. Um, so I'm hoping some of the close-ups do some of that talking for me. The pose, I mean, it looks to me like he's just either launching up into flight or maybe just landing uh, to take a shot at an enemy. Um, and the sculpted details are fantastic here. Uh, one of the things that I love most about this statue is underneath his armor, so under the blue and the red and the white, you get to see the inner workings of the Transformer. You look at his knees, you can see the hinges there. In his fingers, each knuckle, you can see the hinges. You know, you look at his elbow and you see the, the gears working there. And other areas, you got hydraulic pistons like in the back of the knees. It looks like a true functioning robot here. Really fantastic details. Some of my other favorite things to see are the jet engines on the back of the calves, the grooved pattern on the underside of his feet, and then of course I love the big wings on the back. And also probably my favorite detail is right here in his right hand. He's holding the transformed gun form of Megatron. So, so many cool details to see with this piece. Uh, it's almost mesmerizing to sit here and look at it with your own eyes in front of your face. I think they just did a fantastic job. It's a great representation of Starscream in my opinion. All right, so before we move on to talk about paint, of course, you're going to notice the drastic change in appearance for the statue here. And of course, this is the coronation version of Starscream, which was really uh, a pleasant surprise for people that ordered this piece. They kind of just announced it out of the blue during production uh, that they were going to be adding all these switch outs. When, when I first saw it back at uh, STGCC in 2017, there was no indication that this 
version of the statue was going to be released. So really, really nice surprise for Starscream owners. Um, and I wanted to switch to this version for the paint part of the review because I love the purple metallics on the cape. It's got a nice texture to it too, uh, which helps add some uh, visual appeal. But I love the finish of these purple paints. Uh, they just look fantastic. And that continues on the new shoulder armor here uh, for this version. Uh, the rest of the statue is painted quite well too. And XM always does a pretty nice job of those metallic finishes. And no different here on the dark blue parts of the armor, the red as well. Now the white is not a clean, crisp white. I mean, of course, Transformers have been battling uh, for millions of years. So there's some wear and tear here, some battle damage, uh, some dirt and grime there. It's fitting for a character that's been, you know, warring his entire life, basically. Um, you know, you got the underlying uh, metallics as well, the darker grays and silvers below the armor. His face is sort of a two-tone, you got the dark gray. Um, or helmet, we'll say, and then the lighter gray on the face. Got the nice gold crown here with the red accents on it. Um, some gold accents throughout the body as well, just to kind of mix things up. Um, it's a fantastic painted piece, and like I said, I really love the purple on this version here. The base is nicely painted base, but um, you know, it's nothing too flashy. It's mostly sort of a almost like a gunmetal finish to it. A little bit of gold accents and some browns in there. But what it does is it really um, you know, takes a back seat and allows Starscream to be the star of the show here. So really nice paint job here by XM. I think you're going to be happy with it. All right, let's talk production and build quality. We'll start off with some of the extra items you get in the box. And we'll start with this card here, which replaces the old assembly booklet. Uh, you still get the packing photos, which are quite handy if you ever do have to pack the statue back up. But on the flip side, you've got your registration instructions and then these QR codes that'll link you to the assembly video. Now, I think you know most statues are fairly straightforward to put together. I don't think you really need a manual or a video for that matter. But for a statue like this, that's a little larger, a little bit more complex. I definitely miss having the manual. I found it easier to flip to the page of whatever step I'm on than to fast forward through a video, but hey, it is what it is. Now, uh, some statues will come with the metal plaque. Um, these are kind of nice. They have a kickstand, uh, so you can display it on the shelf alongside. Um, they look pretty nice, but I don't consider these essential. So if you didn't get one, um, I wouldn't be too worried. Uh, these are sort of a pre-order bonus. Um, with the Transformers, you also get another nice little throw in, and that's the alternate transformed mode. And for Starscream, of course, that is this awesome fighter jet. Uh, with, this thing looks amazing. It could be uh, a statue on its own sold separately, and you're getting it as basically a throw in with this statue. Th it does come with its own separate display stand, so you can display it besides Starscream or somewhere else in your collection, but definitely find somewhere to put this thing because it looks fantastic. Now, assembly for this statue, uh, fairly straightforward. As I said, it does go together pretty smoothly. Um, the wings and the head fit on with a magnet. The rest of the parts fit on with metal pegs, and some of the connections, at least on this statue, are pretty tight fits. So you want to really make sure you're getting those pieces into the hole all the way. And I'll say that especially for these pieces on the base, where it's got a metal peg in the middle, and then it's got a magnet at each end. So you got to get that peg all the way in before those magnets really grab and help hold those pieces on. So definitely make sure there that you're getting them all the way on. Um, you'll notice the light up feature on the head. Uh, so I'll just pop that off here to show you. Uh, the top of the head comes off and the regular Starscream portrait, very similar. There's a switch in there to turn the lights on and off like that. And you need two LR44 batteries for each head. So if you have this guy coming, make sure that you have at least two of those batteries available uh, for if you want to have batteries in both heads at the same time. So. Other than that, um, someone had asked in the live stream that I did 
Can you swap the hands between versions of the statue? And yes, you can. You can see I've got the Megatron hand on right now. Uh, so you can swap the hands. Uh, another question that came up was how big is the base? Well, it's about 17 inches deep, about 17 inches wide. So this is a big beast of a statue. Definitely make sure that you have room in your collection to display this guy properly. Other than that, um, you know, they're expensive statues, but I think you're going to feel like you got your money's worth. It's a big, heavy, heavy piece. I can't stress that enough. The box, the shipping box is well over 100 pounds and you're definitely going to need two people. So get someone to help you bring that box into your house for sure. I think it's a fantastic production from XM. They did an amazing job just like they did with Optimus. Let's find out which one's better next as we wrap things up. All right, it's time to wrap things up here with Starscream from XM Studios. And I really think it is a remarkable statue. Transformers fans are gonna be delighted with this piece here. Fantastic sculpt, incredible details. Love the design from Studio Hive. The paint, I mean, I really can't find anything really wrong with the paint. And production quality, I believe you're gonna feel that you got your money's worth on this statue. Now, naturally, the question is gonna come up which statue is better, Starscream or Optimus Prime? Well, I think sculpt-wise is pretty much a draw. Uh, both sculpts are amazing, incredible details, taking that G1 style and just amping it up to new levels. Um, Design-wise, though, I would probably give the edge to Starscream. I like this pose, how he's kind of launching up into flight, and I like how the switch-outs really change the look completely of the statue. Paint, I would probably give the edge to Optimus Prime. I really like that hot rod red and the metallic blue. That's really stood out to me. And then production quality is probably another tie. So these statues are pretty much neck and neck. You could almost just flip a coin to decide who is the winner between the two. And in fact, that's exactly how we're gonna decide things right now. We're gonna go heads, Starscream, tails, Optimus Prime, Let's find out. It's heads. Starscream finally takes his place, rightfully, at the head of the Transformers mythos. Undisputed new champion of the XM Transformers line right here, Starscream. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that review. Stay tuned to the channel. Make sure you subscribe. We've got all kinds of stuff coming. More reviews, more Be Mother Live. So stay tuned. We'll talk to you guys soon.